Update. My husband convinced me to get a job at his company, hoping it would stop him from cheating. Original post. So, my husband male 36 and I female 35 are high school sweethearts. We got pregnant in high school, dated for a few years after we had our baby, and decided we did want to get married. Through every single up and down, we were there for one another. I honestly didn't think we could have a more perfect relationship, and it's something I have been so proud about most of my life. About four months ago, my husband asked me to get a job at his company. Before this, I had just been working part-time jobs because we didn't really need the money since we weren't financially responsible for a child anymore. However, we agreed the extra money would be lovely to go towards our family trip funds, something we both and our son add to as often as possible. Our hope being to take a family vacation across Europe for a few months, and we are trying to make it happen sooner than later because our son is recently married. We want them to be able to still go on the trip without worrying about a new baby. Once I got the job, I thought it was such a great decision. I was making quite a bit of extra money and seeing my husband so much more. Well, a couple weeks ago, one of his co-workers approached me and asked how I could be so cool with the ongoing situation. I had no idea what she was talking about. So, I asked for more details and she told me my husband and one of his co-workers had been having an affair for over a year. Well honestly, I trust my husband more than this woman I just met, so I told him about it that night, and he immediately broke down. He told me he was so sorry, but it was true. He said I'm still the love of his life, but he needs some excitement outside of our relationship. He told me he had been feeling so guilty about it, so he asked me to start working there, hoping it would make him want to cheat less. But it's actually just caused them to sneak around more and find their relationship even hotter. I don't know what to do. I'm so humiliated. I feel like I should stick this out because we have been together so long, and I know it would devastate our son. But I don't think I can move on from this. He didn't even apologize, just told me every man needs something new and exciting in a long-term relationship, and that it means nothing. Well, it certainly feels like something. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. Getting you to work there and then continue to sneak around is so sad and sadistic. I'm so sorry. No one deserves that. I really appreciate the kind words. I'm trying really hard to accept and move on to the next steps. First and foremost, I'm very sorry this happened. Secondly, the hard sad fact you need to realize is that he just made you the love of his life, a prop in his cheating fantasy. Think about that. But it's actually just caused them to sneak around more and find their relationship even hotter. This is not okay. The absolute audacity of his actions have my blood boiling for you. Hard choices and decisions are at your feet. I hope you find the strength to do what is in your and your son's best interest. I hope you have friends and family you can depend on to help you through. I hope, truly, that you see your value in this world is far far greater than a prop in a cheating fantasy. Good luck OP. Your husband is scum and used you working there to make your humiliation hotter for him and a fair partner. Divorce now. Don't fudge around thinking he will change because he won't. He will only hide it more, then you'll find out and be more hurt. You're absolutely right. It just hurts so bad. I'm just in shock. Sounds like a trip to HR is needed. What the hell is wrong with him? Oh hun, no. I'm so so sorry you're going through this. I'm gonna be real blunt here. He wants to have his cake and eat it too. He is lying. Not every man needs that excitement in a long-term relationship. He has been lying and deceiving you for a year. Is he using protection? If not then he's also playing with your health. I don't like jumping on the leave him train. But let's be real, he is not sorry for hurting and humiliating you. He shows no remorse and doesn't want to stop. Obviously he and his affair partner are more important to him than you. He made you come work for a company where people know about his cheating. He's made you their laughing stock. I don't even want to imagine what he says about you behind your back. He is obviously expecting you to sit by and watch. He doesn't think you can exist without him and thus doesn't have to fear any consequences. He is completely underestimating you and what you are capable of. No loving spouse would show this much disrespect. Because when you truly love someone, you do respect them. And you don't hurt them this monumentally. He's gaslighting you into thinking this is normal. It's not. Seek legal advice, look for counseling and talk to friends and family. Do not let him minimize this betrayal and with that your feelings. Your reply means so much to me. Thank you. I know I need to take this step. I'm very scared and heartbroken. But I know I need to do it. Now for the first update. Thank you everyone for the kind words and support. I also got many messages that were so sweet. It has been really helpful to read everyone's advice. I was trying to figure out the best way to tell our son. I wanted to sit him down and let him know that my husband and I are getting a divorce. 
I bought the things to make his favorite meal and invited him over for dinner. Well, a couple hours ago, he called me and was extremely upset. He said that my husband told him I cheated and we were getting a divorce. He begged my son not to tell me as it would just cause further problems. But my son wanted to know how I could do that to dad and couldn't stay silent. I told him what actually happened over the phone and he started crying. I am absolutely furious that my husband put my son through that. Even though he's an adult, it's still a very upsetting topic and it should have been handled with care, not lies. I found a great divorce lawyer with my friend's help and I'm getting the ball rolling immediately. His mistress also messaged me after she found out I knew. She said I should be grateful that my husband and I had a good marriage while we did, but she would be taking my place now. I ignored her message and blocked her. I have an amazing support system in place and will be moving out later today. I'm staying with my friend and his wife until I can find a place of my own. I told my husband I was divorcing him and moving out. He broke down and asked how I could do this to our family. He said I'm the one making the decision to end it and I should be ashamed I would throw away our marriage. He said he couldn't believe I would throw in the towel so quickly. I told him to get lost and go cry to his mistress. So now you're all caught up. If any more happens, I might update again. Thank you all again for your kind words and support. You guys have made this a little easier. Second update. So I read everyone's comments about reporting my husband and his mistress to HR. And also sleeping with his boss. I did report them to HR, but unfortunately there isn't anything they can really do because there's not actually any proof. I showed them the texts, but they said unless I had proof of them committing acts on work property, nothing could be done. On one bright side, I guess, I and his mistress found out there had been a lot of others, including some older than her. His oldest affair had been going on for over five years. It was just a friends with benefits type situation. It was one of the moms I was on the PTA with, both married and just looking for hookups apparently. Well, his mistress is just devastated. She cannot believe he could possibly do this to her. She actually reached out to me asking for advice on how to handle everything. Once she realized I blocked her, she had one of our co-workers come and ask me. As for my job goes, I actually really love it. Screw both of them, I'm keeping it. I'm good at it, and I enjoy it. I make a livable wage from it. HR did tell me they would transfer me to a different branch, so I'm actually in the process of moving. Not just out of my ex's and I's house, but pretty far away. My ex begged me for a second chance, to honor my vows and the commitment I made. He got very upset when I brought up the fact that he didn't keep his vows. He told me that first and foremost, loyalty should come first. That no matter the mistake, I should stand by his side. I looked at him and told him to miss my freaking butt. That is my favorite thing to come out of this so far. My son believed me 100% without even showing him the messages from the mistress. He cut contact with his dad. Also to clear up some confusion, my son is 20. He met his girlfriend the first year of college and they got married two months ago. Very recent, and part of the reason I was so concerned about the news of his dad and I. So all in all, I am moving and starting over. And I have full support from everyone except my parents, who think I should stay and stick it out. Thank you so much to everyone who sent kind words and encouragement. You truly made a hard time a little easier. I'm sorry, but this is hilarious. His mistress, who knew she was a side piece, cannot believe he would cheat on her. The woman he was using to cheat on his wife. This is absolute peak irony, and I'm going to frame this post. Thank you so much for this update. How possibly could this man, who is cheating on his wife, also cheat on his mistress? OP had the right to expect loyalty from her husband. I have no idea why the mistress or the husband thought they had the right to anything. And then he got mad at OP and told her to remember her vows. Apparently they had a non-traditional wedding, where vows included hooking up with half the company. He didn't try to get her to work with him to get him to stop cheating. He got her to work with him to make the cheating hotter. I also think it's hilarious that the woman he was cheating with felt cheated on once she found out about others. Why do people who get cheated on with act all surprised when they themselves get cheated on? It's a tale as old as time. If he'll cheat with you, then he'll cheat on you. That's what my mom's first husband did. When she found out about the other woman and told him to stop seeing her, he refused and said, you'd like her if you just got to know her. Suffice to say, divorce quickly followed. My mom found out years later that he had left his mistress for another woman, and then left her for another woman. By the time he died, I think he was on wife number 5. When you're the other woman, don't be surprised when there's another other woman. The husband is a scumbag for many reasons, but especially for lying to his son about how OP was cheating, and not him. For real. 
It's bad enough to cheat, but to play the victim and slander the partner you cheated on is just on a different level. Like, you're just trash. Now for the last story. My wife 30 female, kinda cheated on me 30 male, depending on your definition. My wife and I have been married for 4 years. Some good days, some bad in that time frame. For the past year or so, things have been rough. My wife sat me down a year ago and told me I work all of the time and don't give her enough attention. To her defense, I do work a lot. That said, about a year ago when she sat me down and told me that, I really took it to heart and cut back my hours. I told her I loved her and my job is meaningless without her and I genuinely have stuck to my more lax work schedule for this past year. There may be a day here and there where I'm working late, but it is not the norm and I've made sure of it. I truly did my best to be present every single day when we both were home. I would always make time to chat with her, help with an or cook dinner, and do the dishes. Would tell her how beautiful she is and that I love her because I didn't want her to feel like I was dismissive towards her or not giving her time and attention. I can confidently say I'm a pretty good husband. Well, in comes the crap storm. She's been very dismissive towards me, so I had to do something I never thought I'd ever do as a married man, and I read her text messages. I did this only after having a very cool calm and collected discussion as to how she is feeling in our marriage. Things were off, like way off. She was defensive of the question, so I knew something was up. I'm not proud of my intrusion of her privacy, but I found out she has been planning to have an affair with an older man, 46. They have already kissed on a few occasions, been on a date or two, and are generally having an emotional affair. But the freaking text messages they send, I mean, dim, talking about some crazy ex ting, not necessarily exchanging nudes, but just what they want to do in bed with one another. It was hard to read. Confronted her, and she lied. Confronted her again, and she lied again. I took photos of the conversation because I had a feeling there would be denial, and even then, she said she would never actually take it any further than playful texting. She said she found solace in this guy because he gave her the attention I apparently did not. I mean, she already kissed the dude. I don't even want to relive those text messages, but needless to say, they were all sorts and kinds of lust fueled. For about a solid month the ex-talk has been going on with this chump. Forgot to mention, Mr. Chump is also married, seems like a good guy. I feel like an idiot. I'm embarrassed and oddly more heartbroken than angry. I gave this girl every bit of gas I had in the tank, and she sure as heck let me know it was not enough. What do y'all think? Do I just need to cut the cord as fast as humanly possible? Do I rip it off like a band-aid? I don't think this is salvageable, so I'm really just looking for advice on the next steps. Now for the advice. Dude, she is having an affair. And she's a liar. If she has genuine cause for being unhappy, then she has an excuse to leave. There is no excuse for cheating. Save the photos. Talk to a lawyer. If your state has a one-party law regarding recording others, then hit record on your phone, put everything on the table and let her hang herself. Thanks for the reassurance. I agree. If I put myself in her shoes and I felt I wasn't getting the time or attention I needed, I would have communicated my butt off, offered to go to therapy, literally exhaust every option. Then, and only then, would I consider a divorce. Not cheating. Finally, someone here who has the brains and courage to stand up and leave. It is refreshing to see. I understand coming to post for reassurance that you're not overreacting, and I am glad that once you saw that people agreed, that you're going to take action and do what is best. Thank you so much for posting this. Love is hard. Every bone in my body wants a reason to stay, but I know I can't. Quick like a band-aid. Will hurt for a while, but the quicker you do it, the quicker it will end. Amen. Thank you. Divorce lawyer here I come. This is gonna hurt like hell. I agree. I mean, you confronted her, and she's still doing it. It's done. And she didn't kind of cheat, she cheated, and still is, cheating. Share your proof with the guy's wife. It's the right thing to do. Research found that the kiss is the last boundary, that once crossed, leads to hookups at the first chance. Therefore, there is no such thing as it was just a meaningless kiss. Send the text messages to a fair partner's wife. Get a lawyer. Use Grey Rock and 180 method to interact with her, until you can physically separate. And wife kinda cheated, depending on your definition. Intercourse is not the definition of cheating. You've already witnessed the sickening depths of the emotional affair. Kissing is one of, if not, the most intimate physical acts two people can share. Your wife has fully cheated on you physically and emotionally by any definition. Good luck.